Welcome back to Zoo Tours. I'm your guide, Zach Handel, beginning a new series of adventures into another one of the zoological powerhouses of the world, the Georgia Aquarium. Now the channel's 25th feature, only opened in 2005, making it still one of the world's newest facilities. The Georgia Aquarium was a gift from Home Depot's founder after they donated a whopping $250 million. On the day the doors opened, two records were already broken. First, it was once the world's largest display of aquatic life. In the other, more famously, the Georgia Aquarium opened as the largest oceanarium on the planet. And though that record has since been bested by three other facilities on the other side of the world, this still remains to be the largest aquarium in the Western Hemisphere. For now, I only have two areas filmed, but that just gives me an excuse to come back and show off their future. I thought I'd be nice and go a little out of order and start off with the aquarium's top attraction. So without further explanation, let's begin. In the back corner is the Ocean Voyager. There will be no proper intro this time as a way to keep some suspense and I'll explain everything as we move along. The Ocean Voyager's entrance does have a tall but skinny viewing window and has several smaller teaser portals in its first passageway, but again I don't want to reveal anything too soon. So I thought it would be a good idea to begin our magical voyage right here. an astounding and breathtaking sight. The Ocean Voyager is based on the Mesoamerica Barrier Reef System near the point where the Americas meet. What we are looking at is one single tank, one of the facility's original exhibits. This attraction as a whole is 84,000 square feet. That's almost two acres, making it not only the largest area in the place, of course, it is still the largest indoor ocean on the planet. The Voyager properly introduces you to this record-breaking environment with a 100-foot-long acrylic tunnel, allowing you to stand underneath 6.3 million gallons. So the Ocean Voyager doesn't only take up 25% of the aquarium's entire space, but also 60% of its water volume. All that room, but you can only see so little of it from right here. What they did was surround the area with simulated reefs that overtower the height of the tunnel, and the rock is placed close enough to the glass so it doesn't allow you to see into the open space. What this does is not only make you appreciate the smaller creatures that hide within the reef, but it adds suspense to the experience because you have no idea what could come flying over your head at any second. The Ocean Voyager is home to thousands of animals from only 58 species, 36 of which are non-specified fish like the schooling trevallis and giant groupers. The exhibit's perfect models for selfies. Then there's the one reptile, Tank their Green Sea Turtle, who came to the aquarium only in 2015 but was actually rescued over 20 years ago following a shark bite incident. Next, you'll also find 15, yes, 15 kinds of rays. There's the pancake-shaped southern stingray, which are one of the more commonly displayed kinds. There's cow nose rays, again another very commonly featured creature. There's the lesser known giant guitarfish, with bow mouth guitarfish famously referred to as shark rays. There's lesser devil rays, and also spotted eagle rays, in my opinion the most beautiful of the bunch. But of course, it's impossible to miss one of the giants of the Ocean Voyager. The giant oceanic manta ray, measuring up to 23 feet across. They are the largest type of ray in the world. Swimming through the ocean like a massive bird, slowly flapping its wings and dancing in the air. Its mouth, unlike other rays, is actually positioned up front rather its bottom to allow them to feed continuously as it moves along. 
and despite its sinister or devilish look, they are harmless plankton eaters. The Georgia Aquarium added the manta ray only back in 2008, when Nandit was accidentally caught in the nets off the coast of South Africa. Since then, three more have been added to the tank. The Georgia Aquarium is only one of four sites in the world displaying the manta ray, currently the only place in the country, and became the first to welcome the animal to the United States. Moving on from rays, there's also six kinds of sharks. You'll find the more aggressive black tips, humble zebras, a sandbar, the most abundant shark in the western Atlantic. Most surprisingly, I spotted a wabagong, which are very rarely seen ever actually swimming in the open. But the one animal that could be here by itself and still make this attraction what it is are the aquarium's prized whale sharks. By far the largest fish in the world, and there isn't even a close second. 40 feet and 41,000 pounds when they're fully grown. The whale shark has a somewhat fearsome appearance, but are completely harmless to humans. And much like their oversized roommates, they too feed entirely on plankton. 45 pounds of it a day in fact, which is exactly the process that you're seeing up above. Unusually for a shark, its mouth can be found at the tip of its snout, and although its mouth can be a meter across, they are armed with 300 of the tiniest teeth. The aquarium didn't just happen to luckily one day be able to obtain a whale shark. The Ocean Voyager was specifically built for them. Though at first displaying a creature of this multitude didn't go so well, today here you can find two males and two females, which aren't even fully grown and all of which were imported from Taiwan and were purchased from the commercial fishing quota for the species and would have been consumed if not for their transfers. They are the only whale sharks on display, not only in the Western Hemisphere, but anywhere outside of Asia. But this voyage isn't over. No, the tunnel isn't the only viewing area. Along the way, there's two more spots, one being a bubble on the ceiling giving a completely different and distorted perspective of the surface. And right next to that is a shipwreck site, yet again blocking you from seeing the tank as a whole. Which if you move on a little further, we will finally be able to do just that. Perhaps the greatest finale to an exhibit ever put together. And yet, it's just another single room looking at the same single habitat. This viewing panel, which came in two parts, is 23 feet tall, 61 feet wide, and 2 feet thick. The final perspective shows the best perspective, and possibly the country's greatest interpretation of an open ocean. In fact, even when you get up close, you can't even see the other side. Even the largest animals drift off into a fade. I said on the last episode that a certain exhibit was the best place in that park to sit and observe. But right here from experience, there's no other spot in the world I'd rather be than looking at this diverse ecosystem at the Georgia Aquarium. It's almost a living art piece. And if you're not used to seeing anything like this, you might consider the Ocean Voyager to be your own wonder of the world. Thank you for watching and stick around to see more from this record-breaking attraction.